and bought a 3DS in 2024. But why? The eShop is closed? The online connection is about to shut down in less than a month. So why? Now let me tell you. Hello, sorry for interrupting, but thank you so much for 500 subscribers. That's a big number. Halfway to a thousand. GG to us. Thank you. Nintendo 3DS was released in 2011. I'm pretty sure. I wasn't there. I was busy with my DSi. So I never had the original 3DS, but I did get a 3DS XL in 2012, 13, around that time. That's my boy spent so many years gaming on it. But in 2015, Nintendo released a new Nintendo 3DS, which had a better processing power, so it was in general better, had a better 3D, had a bunch of other stuff that I don't care about, to be honest, because do you know what I cared about? The colorful buttons. That's why I wanted it. Better processing power? I don't care. Better 3D? It actually is pretty good, but I didn't care. I just wanted that. It's very nostalgic for the SNES. Where is that nostalgia coming from? I never had an SNES, so... I guess I just like it. This is the thing that I bought about two weeks ago. It's the new 3DS, the small one, and my mom never bought it for me when I was young because you already have a 3DS, which is true. So it's been eight years and it was always at the back of my mind, I want the colorful buttons and I finally have them. I got the box. The box is a bit damaged. I don't know what happened here. I got it from eBay with the box. Maybe there was a game stop sticker on it, I don't know, but I got it from Italy, which is um, funny because this one also originally came from Italy. Like my mom didn't buy it from an actual store, like an official store. It was just some random dude who imported it from Italy because apparently Italy got it before we did. So yeah, it's funny that this one also came from Italy. But I do have to say there is a difference between the two. Even though back then I didn't care, I appreciate it actually. The better CPU, better 3D and whatever else. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Everything that I like better and some stuff that I don't. I never used 3D on the original 3DS because it was just bad. You move your head the tiniest little bit and it all went crazy. But I never noticed that it was slow or anything. But I tested it out. This one is actually faster. I tested it out playing Pokemon, a 3D Pokemon game. Um, And the loading times in this one were way better. The cutscenes loaded better. Everything loaded better. Also, the 3D on this thing is insane. I can look at the 3D and like move the system around and I can see it moving and it's still nice and crisp 3D and it doesn't hurt your eyes. With this one, as I said, you move something and it just you see three images at the same time so you just turn it off <laughs> of course we have the c-stick that i only ever used in smash bros we have the zr and zl buttons which i've never used in my life what i like about it is the volume button is on the top screen and it's actually a bit stiffer than on the original on this one it's over here and you might accidentally just push it up as you're gaming and then you're in the middle of class and suddenly you hear mario kart music and you're like oh shit Turn it off. Also, I like how on the new one, the start and select buttons are back to where they used to be on the DS. It's a bit more convenient. The home button at the center, I mean, it's the same as this one, but I got used to the 2DS, which is on the side here. It's a bit easier to access, but it's fine having it here. Speaking of the 2DS, this has been my main system for since 2020 when I got this. The reason I got this is because it was way cheaper than the new 3DS, and it was also on sale on Amazon. Instead of 150, it was only 110. So I, I got that and. It's been my main system since then. Here's the home button. But yeah, as many of you will tell you, this is cheap. Like, it looks nice, but it's so cheap. Like, this top screen is as thin as paper. And also, when I turn it on, there's like a little light flashing through here. And when I turn it on, when just the backlight turns on, before the actual screen, you can see it bleeding through here. And it's so weird, I don't get it. Also, the camera placement, awful. Camera placement, awful. Speakers. Not that I ever use them, I use headphones, but not the smartest placement. Oh, and also the hinge. See how it's like, it's not, it doesn't go across the whole system. Like it starts kind of off the edge. Once I dropped this, it was closed and I dropped this and this thing, like it popped off and I had to snap it back in place. It's like a Tesla car, plastic snapped into place. I'm officially saying goodbye to the 2DS, bye. Let's go back to comparing the things that matter. This one is smaller, but if I have to be honest, I prefer the smaller system. This one when I'm playing, the the L and R buttons are a bit uncomfortable for me to reach because I have to extend my finger so much. It doesn't look like it, but it feels like it after a lot of playing. Right, so on this one, it's a bit easier. And also another thing is that this one, I got unlucky with a bad screen because it's so yellow. It's so yellow. This one, the white balance is actually white. This one's yellow and I, I noticed it as soon as I got my 2DS, to be honest. And then I just hoped when I was buying this that 
it wasn't going to be, and it's not. The screen is actually pretty nice. It's not an LCD, still looks better. Another reason why I like having the smaller screen on the 3DS is because on the 3DS, DS games look awful. They're upscaled to fill the whole screen and the pixels get a bit blurry. So on the 2DS XL, I played in pixel perfect mode, which you get by holding start during launch, and it looked really nice. But since the smaller 3DS screen is so small, you don't really notice the blurriness of the pixels on DS games, so I can still play full screen and not have an ugly game. Now, what I don't like about this, the home button being down here is a bit of problematic, I think, because sometimes one time <laughs> hasn't happened on this specific system, but on the 2DS, which has the same placement, I was playing Pokemon and my hands got tired. I placed it down on a table and the home button got the, the power button got pressed, so I lost progress. Wasn't fun. Yeah, the cartridge slot being down here, I guess, I don't know. It's a choice that doesn't really affect me. What affects me though is the SD card being behind here. Like, I get why, same as the stylus position being here instead of here, I get it because of these plates that probably earned them a lot of money. But the SD card being in here is a bit problematic. If you mod your 3DS, you have to constantly take it in and out. And that's annoying. This one was already pre-hacked, pre-modded, but I did a system transfer, so it's all gone, so I will have to do it again. Notice how I said I will have to do it again? I've had this system for two weeks and haven't remodded it. And let me tell you why. This tiny little screw over here is stripped, so I can't get it off. I tried the rubber technique, I tried everything, it's just not coming off, so I'll have to think of something. I can't mod it, which is annoying because I'm used to having that modded 3DS live and now I'm forced to leave vanilla, which is actually an okay experience, you know, well, just like back in the day, but it's annoying. The most annoying part is a 4GB SD card. That's the worst part. And I just re-downloaded Super Smash Bros for the 3DS and it's full. I can't download anything else. By the way, the eShop might be closed, but you can re-download your titles. The ones that you purchased, you can re-download. Same with themes and other stuff. I have a 64 SD card from my old 2DS that I would like to have in here, but I can't. So maybe I should turn it on and show you some stuff. Eight years of me wanting this and I finally have it. I'm super happy. Remember how I said the 2DS top screen was like a stainless paper? Look at how thick this is and it actually feels quality. Why is the screen so purple? Oh, because of my camera filter. Sorry about that. I did re-download Pokemon Bank and um, transport transporter. If you get a 3DS, if you buy one for yourself and you're worried about not being able to get Pokemon Bank, you still can if you downloaded it on your account because I did the system transfer. So my account went from my 2DS to this and then I was able to go into the eShop and go to my purchase titles and download everything. The only thing was at first I wasn't seeing Pokemon Home, Pokemon Bank in the re-downloaded titles. And I got worried because if it's not here, I can't re-download it. And I even went on Pokemon Bank's eShop page and it says it said title unavailable, so I my heart sank. But I downloaded Pokemon Transfer Transporter, and by downloading that, Pokemon Bank also got up downloaded with that, like with the same button. Nothing to worry about. But I was very worried because once you do the system transfer, everything on the old DS gone. So then my Pokemon Bank over there was gone. I didn't have Pokemon Bank here, so like, where's my Pokemon? But they're alive, don't worry, I have my Living Dex, is safe. It's not complete yet, but it's safe. So yeah, what's currently on my 3DS? This is the theme, it's like a free Animal Crossing theme that I got, I don't know when, but it's really cute and it matches. So I have all my folders the way they, they used to be, and on these folders I have the badges from Nintendo Badge Arcade, the only gacha game I've ever played. Um, rest in peace to that. I have a folder for Nintendo's apps, and then I have a folder for homebrew apps, but there's none over here right now. One folder for each franchise, but I don't have any games here. As I said, four gigabytes of storage, so I can't do much. I have my Pokemon folder, in which I currently have Pokemon Red, Pokemon Crystal, and Pokemon Picross, which is a free game. Um, with microtransactions. And then I have a Zelda folder, which currently has my Nintendo Picross Zelda. That was a reward f on my Nintendo when they still did 3DS rewards. Yeah, here's Nintendo Badge Arcade. It's fun, like, that was my favorite thing to do, my daily entertainment. But yeah, the rest of the folders are empty because, as I said, I can't really do anything if I can't get the SD card out of here. So yeah, that's what's currently on my 3DS. Not much, but... That will change hopefully soon. I am looking into buying replacement plates just for that screw. 
I found some on Amazon for really cheap and they're also white so I'll just probably replace the bottom one because I don't think they're legit. If I could I would just switch out the screw but I don't know if I can do that, hopefully. Oh one last thing, the price. The reason I never got these before is because at our stores it cost more than 200 euros and that was way too much. I remember seeing the bundle with the 3DS and fashion and a fashion designer game and that was more than 200 euros and I was like no no but the original price is apparently 170 not in my country so yeah i feel kind of cheated but i didn't overpay for this one original price 170 i paid 190 so not that bad considering the box and the seller also gave me a free charger with it this thing didn't come with a charger and the seller still gave me one so now i have three very nice it's interesting how the 2DS XL came with a charger but none of the 3DSs did nintendo makes some wacky weird decisions Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have... Which which 3DS do you have? I want to know. But yeah, in a few weeks I'll be going to Vienna, Austria and they have some retro gaming stores there. So I'll try to check them out depending on how much free time I have because it's a school trip. So if I find something cool, I'll show it to you. But until then, like and subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!